a lot of the mistakes people make when setting up a stay wet palette is not using enough water on it. So all you have is you have two parts. You have one part which is like the blotting paper part and one part which is like the grease proof paper part. Of course you can make one of these yourself but for the cost of it, it's about £15, it's really really worth just, just buying one. Also they come in A4 or A3 sizes, always go for the bigger, bigger one. You always need more space in your sink when you're mixing colours. So if you put the paper down, and you soak it and then I just kind of move it around so it's all completely coated. And then any excess you've got just pour it back but I don't pour it all back I leave like a little bit left over and then when that's on the flat what it will do is just kind of soak in and make it really 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 wet and um, you'll see what happens is that it starts to crease up and it creases up even more when you put the uh, paper on top you think it's going to keep all lovely but when you actually put it on it's uh, it goes super wrinkly so make sure when you put it put it in that you push it into the corners these are what always peel up. You'll see on here how it always starts to peel on the corners. If you just make sure that you push it down, into the corners. Okay, that's a stay wet palette ready to go.